I love helping mature women over 50 find beauty products that work for their mature skin. Two months of empties and I have beauty in every category. Skincare, hair care, makeup, and body care. If you're new to Beyond 50 Skin, welcome. My name is Cindy. I'm a licensed cosmetologist and I love all things beauty, especially skincare. I found this career late in life and I love helping mature women over 50 find beauty products that work for their mature skin. So let's jump in. I'm going to start off with a body serum that I love. This is the one by Topicals. It's called Slather. I've been using it for years. It has urea, it has lactic, it has squalane, and it has retinol. It is a beautiful exfoliating body lotion for after the shower. I also use it on a daily basis if my legs are just looking a little creepy. I love the serum. It's a repeat since it launched, I think two, almost maybe three years ago. I love it. Now, if you've been watching my hair loss journey, you know that back in December, I had a huge hair loss event when I stopped Minoxidil. I am back on the Minoxidil using it twice a day. My hair is growing back. I am also using the Calisium Hair Growth Serum microneedling system. So in conjunction with those two products, my hair is growing back. If you're curious about that video, I will put a link and you can go check it out. It was quite the drama for about three months there. I finished another one of Dermatology's Advanced Neck Creams. I love this for the neck area. It just makes my crepey neck look so much better. I never really thought a neck cream would be that big of a deal. In fact, it's really the only one that I've ever repurchased. I've been also trying the one by Womanness. This one, it's, you know, I don't like it that much. It's very thin. It doesn't make my neck look any different after it dries down. I like the applicator. It's a roller applicator. It's very nice to apply, but I also don't like the fragrance profile on this. So I'm going to be going back to my Dermatology Advanced Neck Cream, which I've repurchased this. I honestly can't remember how many times. And I'm gonna pass on the Womanness Neck Cream. If you like a light fragrance, if you like a very light formula on the neck area, it doesn't give a whole lot of glow. You may enjoy this. It just wasn't one of my favorites. I've been trying a lot of products by Bloom Effects. This is their cleansing jelly. It's basically a jelly to oil cleanser. You can use it as a first cleanse. You can use it as a second cleanse if you have dry skin. It definitely emulsifies the makeup with two cleanses. I love it. I would not use this as a single cleanse. I was hoping because it was oil-based, it would break up the mascara, but to be perfectly honest, if you're just going to be using this, use a micellar water first to get all your makeup and all your sunscreen off and then come in with this, especially if you've had dry skin, this is gonna be a perfect second cleanse. It emulsifies beautifully and it just cleanses like nobody's business and leaves your skin super hydrated. Another Bloom Effects product, this is their Vitamin Mineral SPF 50. Bloom Effects is very much a brand for dry skin. You can see how glowy this is. And of course their jelly cleanser is super moisturizing and best for dry skin. They also have a jelly nectar, which you can use in place of a facial oil at night. Love that, I'm about halfway through that. I haven't found anything I do not enjoy from Bloom Effects, especially for mature dry skin. I also finished up one of my favorite no poo shampoos. I do a no poo shampoo day midweek between my hair wash days, my traditional hair wash days, so that my hair doesn't get dry and stripped. My gray hair is very porous. It easily breaks, it's brittle. And so a no poo shampoo day in between traditional wash days is perfect. It's more gentle. It actually hydrates the hair and conditions the hair. I won't be repurchasing this, not because it's not fabulous. So if you've never tried one, definitely try this cleansing cream. It's great, but I'm going to be trying the new wash day or wash day, new day, new day wash day. I don't know, but that's the one that you guys have been recommending. That's the next one I'm gonna be purchasing for my no poo shampoo day. I actually finished a foundation. This is Second Skin by Hints. This is the one in beige. Love it, it's a perfect match for my skin tone. It's more of a traditional foundation, but it is buildable. It starts out as a medium coverage and builds up to full coverage. If I want that type of look, this is the one that I reach for. I've already purchased my backup. I can't believe I finished this up. It's the Seek Appear. It's their Derma Color Correcting SPF 30. This is a color correcting sunscreen. It's actually completely gone, but I do have a mini. And if you've never tried it, I recommend a mini. It is green, but if you have redness, you can use this. 
under your traditional sunscreen to color correct the redness. It is a sunscreen. As you blend it in, it does turn to a light skin tint, but it's not quite enough sunscreen protection for me. It's only SPF 30 and I use it more as a spot treatment to color correct redness. I finished up another refill of Major Fades Hyper Serum. I love this anti-pigmentation serum. It cuts down on the melanin production and leaves my skin super illuminated. It's by the Dr. Idris brand and it comes in this cartridge with two refills. It lasts forever. It makes your skin look absolutely amazing while also protecting it from UV damage and melanin production. I always have one of these around and I'm always using it, always running out of it. Even if I had to purchase this on my own, it would be a constant repurchase. It's a staple in my morning routine to help fight hyperpigmentation. I finished up another Clinique Pep Start sunscreen. I think they might be discontinuing this. They're replacing it with a new mineral sunscreen and the size and the container look very similar and it's very hard to find Pep Start online. I have seen it at Nordstrom. If you're a Pep Start fan like I am for years and years, check out Nordstrom. I'll definitely leave a link down below, but I believe Pep Start is being replaced by their new mineral sunscreen. And I have to tell you the reviews on the Sephora website of the new mineral sunscreen aren't that great. I think it's like a three out of five stars, if that. So if you're a Pep Start fan, you may want to check out the Nordstrom website. One of my all-time favorite primers, I've used this since launch. It's by Euphoria. It's their pregame primer. If you have dry skin and you would love a minimalist makeup look, you are going to love this. I know they market to a very young crowd, but this is perfect for mature skin. It is super hydrating. It blurs. If you are a minimalist makeup girl like me, you're going to love this. I wear this on its own. It has a very, very slight tint. I think there's a little bit left in this. Yeah, there actually is. I might actually be able to get one more use out of this. It's a very light tint. It blurs your imperfections. I wear this on its own and it is super hydrating. One of my favorite finds of 2023. My favorite primer this year is by Euphoria. Definitely on my repurchase list. It's one of my favorite primers, but like I said, I also use it on its own just to kind of as a no makeup makeup look to blur my imperfections and just make my mature skin. It just kind of blurs those fine lines. It's very interesting. So one of my absolute favorite purchases, it's fairly high in dimethicone, but I don't have a problem with it pilling. Another one of my absolute favorite moisturizers for mature skin is the Dew Instant Angels. This is always on my shelf. I can't live without it. I use it in the summer as a light moisturizer in the evening. I use it as a barrier repair. I use it as a winter moisturizer and I layer it with other moisturizers. I love it. If you have combination skin or dry skin, I think you're gonna like this. If you have oily skin, I highly recommend their Deliverance Serum. If you have oily skin, if you have breakout prone skin, or if you have redness, check out the Deliverance. I use this in the morning to help with redness or in the evening as a serum to help with redness. And then I top it with the Instant Angels Moisturizer because this on its own isn't quite enough for my dry skin, but using it to clear up blemishes, using it to kind of help reduce the redness in my skin, or if my skin is slightly irritated, definitely love the Deliverance and I layer it with Instant Angels. Now, Dew skincare is now available in Sephora, which is super cool, but my 15% discount, which is an indefinite discount site-wide, you want to make sure you use the Dew website. It's not applicable at Sephora, only at DewSkinCare.com. So I'll leave that down in the description, but if you want to try this brand, you can always get 15% off with my code. Another great serum. This is an exfoliating serum by Dermalect. It has AHAs, BHAs, and vitamin C. It's an all-in-one exfoliating serum for your evening routine. I use it one to two times a week. I use it on my decollete. I use it on my neck. I use it on my face. My decollete and neck are definitely a lot stronger than they used to be. They can tolerate actives where they didn't used to be able to. And I'm going to be doing a neck and decollete video soon on all the treatments that I've had in office to help with pigmentation. And this is the serum that I reach for in between office visits to help reduce that pigmentation. Definitely do a patch test because it is pretty intense. It has glycolic, salicylic, and it also has vitamin C, L-ascorbic. So it's a pretty intense serum, but once you build up a tolerance, 
I think you're gonna love the way it gently exfoliates the skin. And you can also use it as a wash off mask. You're allowed to leave this one on. Unlike some exfoliating masks you wash off, this one is a serum that you can leave on, but you could sort of adapt it to your skin's tolerance by using it as a wash off. Put it on, wash it off a minute later, two minutes later, before you go to bed, however you want to give it a try. I highly recommend the Dermalect Overnight Exfoliating Serum. I already have my backup. I don't know what I was thinking when I purchased this. This is the beauty of Doosan, one of my favorite sunscreens. I got three little minis to put in my purse, but they are mini minis. I should have just gotten three larger tubes. I would have gone through them just as easily. One of my favorite sunscreens of all time. And I did in my recent Style Vana purchase, purchase the full size tubes. One of my favorite dry shampoos, it's by Living Proof. It's their advanced dry shampoo. Love this. It also gives a little bit of bounce to my hair as well as soaking up some of the oil in between washes. I have travel sizes, I have large sizes. This has been on repurchase ever since I tried it. I don't really like their original version, but this just works perfect for my really fine hair. It gives it a little bit of body, a little bit of bounce, and just makes it look refreshed. Like I said, this is always on rotation. If you haven't tried it, just try a mini. I love it. Thanks very much for watching the latest roundup of Empties, Fails, and Faves. Wishing you all a skintastic day.